Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com and it's finally cool enough to be back in the drum room here with you guys. Today I want to show you how to play for free the full song, Interstate Love Song by Stone Temple Pilots, drummed by Eric Kretz. And I've got all three pages of the full song PDF for you to download from my website for free. You'll find the link beneath this video. And if you want to make your own song suggestions, then you can go over to my Facebook page. You'll see a link posted to the top of the page, a post pinned to the top of the page where you get to write your song suggestions, others get to vote on them, and the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was today. In fact, this one was a special one because I've been away for a while, so I thought I'd treat you guys to a, a new song suggestion list, and then this was voted the favourite one uh, at the time of the poll. Uh, and then while you're over at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member, where you get access to over 600 full video song lessons, um, teaching you songs from start to finish, including a load of other Stone Temple Pilot songs, but we'll talk more about that at the end of the lesson. So we start off with uh, the intro, and uh, Eric comes in with, uh, I think it's a four bar guitar, well actually it's just a one bar intro guitar, and Eric comes in with this cross stick groove, starting with this open hi-hat on the and of beat four. So we get one and two and three and four and one, and it closes on the next bar where we get this, this drum beat. The crostic pattern with the bass drum, and this is this is classic Eric for a lot of Stone Temple pilots. So there's lots of pushes and pulls, um, as we're going to see in the verses and the choruses. There's a lots of drag notes, lots of ghost notes, lots of uh, open hi hat dynamics, loads and loads of stuff that make it sound just like Eric. It's it's very unique his playing. Lots you could almost describe it as busy, but in a very very cool way. But it starts off relatively simple without any ghost notes, without any drags, just on the crostic, and we get this one bar drum beat. One and two and uh. So we get this bass and push on the uh of two. Two e and uh falling in between the hi hats. Then we get three e and four. Three e and four e. And we get four e, another bass and falling in between. Four e and one. So very linear in its kind of um, cross stick and bass drum approach. We play the whole bar for you slowly. One and two and uh, three e and four e and one. And two E and uh, the E and four E and so we get one and two a uh, the E and four E and one and two a uh, the E and four E and one with the intro open hi hat up to tempo one two and three and four and one and two a uh, the E and four E and one and two a uh, the E and four E and one two. Then we get for the fourth bar of that line, just a slight variation with the bass drum. Following the melody of the song, you'll notice it. The bass drum falls on the and of beat two in that last bar, not the uh of two. One and two and. Just a sixteenth note before with the hi hat. One and two and the e and four e. Then the rest of that bar is what we've been doing previously. So look out for that one bar there. That happens later in the song as well. Next line, one more bar of the groove we've just done. Except that bar there, we have an open hi hat on the and of beat three, and it stays open for the last um, part of the bar. And four E and uh, and we get an extra hi hat cross stick note on the uh of beat four. And four E and a uh, one. The hi hat doesn't close; it just stays open. Ooh. Try that again. And four E and a uh, one into a crash symbol. Then one, uh, two, three. Or the rest of that bar is just stepped out on the hi-hat. It kind of splashes the hi-hat for this, but don't worry if you can't splash the hi-hat, you can just step it. It's really for the rest of the band to keep in time. So that last line, we get one and two, a three e and four e and a one, two, three, four. I'm not very good at splashing with this electric hi-hat. Then we go into our first riff, riff one I've called it. We're kind of, I've written closed hi-hat, but Eric has a very loose hi-hat technique. Um, where it's kind of it's kind of ever so slightly open, but then we do get these prominent open hi-hat parts, as we're going to see in this groove, on the and of beat three. So just be aware that the hi-hat isn't quite fully closed, but I'm going to play it fully closed, so you get a nice, clear, open hi-hat on the and of three. Um, and then when you listen to the song, you'll hear it. It's very prominent, sort of washy hi-hat effect, kind of half, very, very slightly open, but then a very prominent open hi-hat on the and of three. We move to the snare drum. And this is our first example of Eric really sort of laying it down with the ghost notes and drags. So we get for the first half of the bar, ignore the crash symbol on beat one, we get this new drum beat. 
one and a two E and done. Now, two E, it's, a, it's actually a snare drum, the back beat on two, but then he plays a little drag afterwards on the E of two, sorry, a little ghost note. Then he plays and uh, on the bass drum, so we get one and a two E and uh. Then we get our first taste of the drags, three E and, three E and, three E and, open high on the and, three E and, close it on beat four, we get four E and a, uh, four E and a uh, one. So <clears throat> lots of use of the drags there. And then when we go into bar two, you're gonna hear how he also plays the same drum beat as bar one, but this extra drag on the E of beat one. So when we cross over from bar one to two, in fact every bar, we get these two drags in a row on the uh of four and the E of one. So when I loop it, you'll sort of hear that. So if I play the first, say, um, three bars, in fact, the third bar has a drum fill in it, so we're, 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 I'll leave out the drum fill. I just want to play basically bar two round a few times, but I'll start with bar one. So we get one, two, and two, E, and four, E, a one, E, a two. I'll just let's slow it down for you, that last bit. Four, E, and a one, E. Four, E, and a one, E, a two. Okay, again. One, two, and two, E, and four, E, a one, E. Really busy drum beat. If I was playing this, I wouldn't play those um, notes on the E of one, the E of three, and the uh of four as drags. I play them just as ghost notes. It's very interesting that uh, Eric plays every single ghost note in this song as a drag, apart from the snare drum note that falls after beat two. So let me go on to bar three. Continues the drum beat, but we get this four E and uh. So again, we have the four E, but instead of playing and uh at the end of the bar, it's and uh into a crash in beat one of the next line, one E will be going to a drag straight afterwards. So bar three, one E, a two E, and a three E, and four E, and a one. And then going into the next line, you can hear the drag is included. Hear that drag after the ghost note, after the crash symbol, sorry. So then we go on to the third line, which is exactly the same structure. Uh, bar one does have that ghost note on the E of one. Bar two is the same as the line above it. Bar three though, the drum fill with the end, instead of playing four E and uh, he then plays this drum fill. Four E, four E and a uh, one. So instead of playing the bass drum on the E of four, he plays it as a ghost note drag on the snare drum with his left hand. We then move into verse one. So we get one E, a two E, and a three E, and four and a one. One E, a two E, and a three E, and four, four and a one. Try that again for you properly. I've got all sorts of things going wrong here with my microphone. One E, two E, and a three E, and four and a one. There we go. Now that we play this up to speed for you without me talking over the top, so you can hear just the drums, I'm gonna play the intro and riff one into the first bar of verse one. Up to speed, here we go. Then we go into verse one, still with that sort of swashy hi-hat, but I've played it closed. It's a new um, drum beat. Really, it's just the bass drum that changes at the beginning of the bar, at the first half of the bar. The second half of the bar, let me just double check this, is identical to the riff section. It's the first half that's changed. So the first half, without the crash symbol at the beginning, I thought I might as well include it, bar one, we get one and a, uh, excuse me, one and two, a. Uh. 2E e and uh, that goes not on the E of 2 still. So we get 1 and 2 and, and then same as the previous section, 
3 e and 4 e and uh, 1 then when we loop into bar 1 into bar 2 sorry we get that extra ghost note on the e of 1 again but remember the bass drum has changed so bar 2 looped around a few times 1 e and uh, 2 e and uh, 3 e and 4 e and uh, 1 e and uh, 2 e and uh, 3 e and 4 e and uh, 1 e 2 uh, 3 e and 4 e so again another complicated drum beat going on lots of busyness going on bar 3 is the same as bar 2 and then bar 4 exactly the same but the drum fill at the end is same as we had at the end of line one of riff one, it's the drum fill. We then get a bar of two, four, so just one, two, just one stepped hi-hats. We're then gonna go into the next bar, which goes back to beats, uh, four beats to a bar. And we've got this extra little drum beat that gets played for two bars. So it's op more open hi-hat this time. In fact, I've written it as open hi-hat. So we get one, a two, and it's the bass drum falls on the and, instead of playing and uh, as we had before, we get two and uh, and uh. So instead of playing and uh, it's, it's a ghost note drag on the uh of two. So two and uh. Then beat three is slightly different. We get three e and, three e and, four e and uh, four e and uh. So that bar slowly. One, the two and uh, three e and, four e and uh. The next bar is the same, but we get that ghost note on the E of one appearing. One E, a two, and a three E, and, and then we get the four E, and a drum fill. So then to the third line, which is the same as the first line, except after that drum fill, notice we don't have the crash symbol on beat one, but we do have that ghost note drag on the E of one. So we're basically playing the first line again, but with the slightly different first bar. On it goes. Bar four, we get this drum fill at the ends. And then three E and a, four E and a, down two toms. But interestingly, that drum fill starts on the E of three. The hi-hat starts it technically. Three E and a, four E and a, one. Into the fourth bar where we get that bar of two, four again, one and two. And then the last two bars are the same as the second line, we get this and that bass drum on the and of two. But then bar four is that drum fill from the second line of riff one into riff two. Riff two is the same as uh, riff one with the drum beats. So we're finally starting to get some repeating ideas going on. Uh, and the drum fill at the end of that line, bar three, Simple as that, just four E and a on the snare drum, right, left, right, left. And I think we're gonna go into the ride cymbal next for the chorus, we are. So, let me now play for you the whole of verse one and riff two, up to speed, here we go. So on to chorus one on page two, and it's the last new drum beat we've got to learn for the song. Um, it's actually a little bit simpler than the other, other drum beats. We haven't got so much, actually we have, we've got, we got some um, double bass drum parts on the and and the uh of three. But it starts off simply, with, uh, the first half of the bar. We get one and two uh, so two e and uh, then three e and uh, three e and uh, and then four e and uh but we don't get the ghost note on the E of one each time. So one and two, a three E and a four E, a one and two, a three E and a four E, a one. Just excuse me, that's bouncing around. I was kind of sticky in here, so I'm, I'm sticking to my wires and they're bouncing around. Enough excuses. 
Bar three is the same as the previous two bars. Bar three, a uh, four of the next line though, notice how we get that bass drum on the and of beat two, kind of like from the intro, in fact, exactly like the intro. So bar four, or bar one of line two, is one, two, and. And then we get three E and a four E. In fact, for that bar, we get a, a normal um, snare drum volume on the uh of four, four E and a one, going into bar two, where it's that four bar pattern being repeated again. So we get the uh of two on the bass drum, and then for the last line, bar two has the and of two on the bass drum. In fact, that bar is one and two, one and two, and the E and four E and uh. We do get the drag at the end. Let me pick this up off the floor because it's gonna drive me absolutely mad. Let me try and tie it onto my shorts somehow. I don't usually do this because I'm not usually sticking to the wire. Probably too much information for you guys, you don't need to know that. Um, hang on a second. At this point I would usually pause the video, but I'm sure you can all appreciate and enjoy watching me suffer. There we go, see if that's gonna stop the clicking. That was basically um, the battery pad clicking the floor that you were hearing. Okay, so, um, the last bar of line three, the last two bars, we get one, two, uh, the E and, sorry, three, E and a, and then it's a four, and a one, two, three, four. Then we go into riff three, which is, uh, we'll talk about in a second. Let me now play for you those three lines of chorus one up to speed, so you don't hear the clicking and stuff. So riff three, same as the previous riff two. Uh, I'm just gonna skip to the important bits. So we get the end of line uh, one, we get 40 and a one drum fill. Notice these are three bar long lines. And then the end of bar four is the, uh, and we get three E, not a drag there, three E and four E and uh, So one E, a two and a three E and four E and a one into verse two. Verse two, you'll be pleased to know, same structure as our previous verses. So let's go straight to bar four of the second line, where we get four and a, sorry, bar two of the second line. Yeah, that's what I meant. Bar two of the second line, beat four, four and a drum fill. Then we get this, like, this, this uh, double length sort of stab section where we get one, two, and then just one bar of this, one, a two, and a three, and then the four and a. So remember we had previously in, in, in verses, I believe, uh, we had the, yeah, in verse one, we had um, two bars of that bar. We just get the one bar. We then get one, two, three, and then and four E and a. Flam on the and a three, followed by four E and a, into a crash where we get, we do get two bars of um, that bar as we expected, as we heard in verse one, the one, and a three E and four E, a one E, a two and a three E and four E and a drum fill at the end. So I'll play up to speed for you in a moment. Let me play the last two lines for you while counting. One and two and one, a two and a three E and four and a one, two, three and four E and a one, a two and a three E and four E, a one E. I believe that we're then going to go into another chorus. We do. So let me play for you now up to speed so you can hear it properly. The last three lines of verse two there on page two. Here we go. So page three of the chart, chorus two, uh, again, three bar structure for each line. We get the same idea as our previous choruses, bar four. The first line of line two has the 
one and two and idea, the and on the bass drum on the and of two. Uh, then we get uh, three more bars of the standard groove we've been doing previously for the choruses. Chorus two continued, I've got one, two, and, uh, and it's the uh, three, e, and a, uh, four, e, and a. Uh. So basically the same as the line above it, but then bar two, slightly different. Again, following that uh, method, the idea where the fourth bar of the choruses has the bass drum on the and of two. One, two, and, but it goes into a crash cymbal on the and of two. And then rarely for this song, we get three E and, a normal snare drum volume, not a um, ghosted drag. Into bar three, one and two, uh, three E and a, four E and a, one. So same groove as the chorus, but it ends with the four E and a, one, two, three, four, into our final riff, riff four I've called it, and it's basically uh, the same as our previous riffs. One, two, and a three, e, and four, e, a one, e, a two, e, and a three, e, and. For this last second bar here, we get three, e, and, it stays open for beat four, four, e, and a, and you can keep the hi-hat open, but I close it on beat one, I believe. And then we get this final little drum fill for the end of the song, one E and a two E and going across the beat in an interesting way. So that last line slowly. One, two and three E and four E. Oh one E a two and three E and four E and a one E and a two E and. So now let me play for you. Chorus two continued and the last line riff four. To end of the song. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, I hope you forgive me for a few of the technical issues there with things bouncing around and sticking to me. Uh, don't forget to download the free pages of the PDF that came with this lesson. Uh, again, you'll find them, the link beneath this video. You can get them for free, save them to your computer or print them out. And then while you're over at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I said at the beginning of the video, for £97, you get a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's over 600 full video song lessons where, just like this lesson I teach you the song from start to finish, you get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart for each of those songs. And like I said earlier on, I think I've got at least two or three other Stone Temple Pilot songs in full up on the website already. So if you're a fan of Eric Kretz, you've got your, um, loads of stuff to get your teeth stuck into already. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.